Hi Aries, this is going to be your July 2019 career reading for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. If you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below on information for how you can enter for that. If you would like to book a private paid reading, information will also be down below. And if you would like to check out my bracelets which are on Etsy, they are handmade, spiritually charged, they start from just £3 with free international shipping, um, two of them are actually not made by me, so just putting that out there, but the rest are made by me, but they are all spiritually charged, and they're for different areas of your life, whether it's career, finance, protecting you from the evil eye, love, and then all of the zodiac sign bracelets as well, there are so many on there, do check those out if you are interested, they start from just £3 with free international shipping, and I am going to get started for Aries, let's see what's going on Aries, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, Wow. Wow. There is some form of satisfaction you are going to be feeling in July in terms of your career. We've got the Six of Cups, which is making an entrance in so many of the readings for the career for July 2019. So check out your other signs. So if you're checking for your Aries sun right now, then check out your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus sign, career readings as well. They'll all be on my channel, you know, as the days pass because I upload um, three to four videos a day. So, um, you know, it will be it will be on there. So there it is. Gaining recognition, having offers come to you. This feels like some sort of achievement because you've got also the three of pentacles here. So you see how these people are overlooking? It's almost like you're going to be gaining recognition for your work. There is something you're going to be gaining recognition for. And also you've got arches. These arches here symbolize an initiation. So I do feel like, you know, you someone's going to initiate here, which is essentially like an award or an achievement or even a promotion, some kind of reward in terms of your career. Now, this reward can also have you know, again, a financial implication in, t in the sense that it can give you a promotion, it can give you something of the financial reward. So you could also be just in general getting a, uh, a money, a financial money reward. So there's something here which is to do with achievement and to do with recognition and you feeling very, very content. So feeling spiritually really, really good, your mind just being really clear, very happy, and feeling really, again, good in the situation. Neptune is also in retrograde, so this is allowing us to think more clearly. I know Neptune being in retrograde can sometimes mess things up spiritually, but actually, it can also, this retrograde is also helping a lot of people to really think clearly, and it's 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 really opening people up in, in a very spiritual balance as well. Yes, when planets move backwards, it can, you know, people think it's really bad, but actually opens things up quite a bit as well, especially with planets that are more outer. So things like, things like, can't believe I'm describing planets like things. Uh, well, they are things, but anyways. Uh, so planets like Saturn, Neptune, you know, uh, both of the, and Jupiter, those are all in retrograde right now. So, uh, yes. <laughs> so... <laughs> It, it's 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 not going to be felt by us as heavily as a Mercury retrograde or a Mars retrograde or a Venus retrograde. It's going to be retrogrades that help us more consistently. Again, yes, they can affect spiritual connections, but it's more so in the sense that it's consistency and it's it's helping to to balance us. Cards are just coming out. Okay, I'm just going to place these here, so got the world card, really beautiful reading, really beautiful reading. Okay, you've got the world card, eight of pentacles, four of pentacles, ten of swords, the death card, we've got the hierophant. Hierophant? Where did I get that from? The High Priestess. I was actually thinking um, Taurus, that's why I said the Hierophant as well, but you know, High Priestess is Earth energy, can also represent Taurus. We've got the Moon card, Pisces. Okay, interestingly enough, um, I was talking about Neptune and the Neptune retrograde. Neptune retrograde is happening in the sign of Pisces, so the Hangman is ruled by Neptune. Neptune retrograde, 
you know, Neptune retrograde is happening in the sign of Pisces. Everything is linked. Everything is always linked, especially in terms of astrology. Every, everything is linked. Got two queens. Ooh, I would class the, the high priestess as a queen too. I would. I would, even though she is the high priestess, you know, she's high priestess. Regardless of male or female, remember I read the energies in tarot, not the gender. So, we are going to start with this wild card, feeling a sense of completion, feeling happy, feeling joyful, feeling balanced, feeling like you're getting some form of recognition. You see all of these things in the exterior. It's like all focus goes onto you. This is a really good energy to have and it comes because of hard work, hard work that you have consistently been putting in. You know, this is about consistency. Each of these pentacles is very consistent and the hard work, it's like a chain. It just keeps going. So the hard work that you put in, it will be uh, recognized, is what I'm seeing. The Four of Pentacles here is feeling very strong magnetic attraction to your work, feeling like the work you're doing is so, so good and not wanting to budge from the situation. So not wanting to um, move, you know, it, you just feel like you're just... You're getting all of that uh, reward coming to you, so you just want to keep working hard and going and going and going. The Ten of Swords here is about essentially making sure that you take time for yourself. Um, you know, you'll be feeling really good, but you could, after this recognition, feel like you are just going and going and going and going to the point where it can become a lot for you. So this is just a warning from the guides, is to try and get yourself back into this um what is it, mindful thinking, mindfulness, you know, in the sense of just take time and space for yourself, make sure you do that, have have some form of balance, otherwise, you know, you'll, you'll come home and you will literally be dead, you know, because of the amount of work that you're doing, so take time for yourself, um, you know, that's very important, and it does show that you will take time and space for yourself, you will emotionally feel much better as well, because we've got the death card, this is ruled by Scorpio, Scorpio is very intense, it's, it's, it's about a transformation, so it's about death and rebirth, so I do see that, you know, you will calm down, and you will learn to figure out more of a, of a balance, because I do see that you'll be feeling very balanced and very strong, but it's just about not overworking yourself, which is coming through very strongly in this reading, so you know, it's, it's about putting an end to overworking, and just making sure that you're working smart, not like hard. Does that make sense? Like there's a difference. It's good to work hard. It is absolutely exceptionally good to work hard, but it's also about working smart. So that's what the guides are trying to say is, is work smart. Really work smart. Don't try and make your don't try and overwork yourself to the point where you literally are dead by the end of it because you don't you don't have to do that. That's what they're saying. The high priestess here <laughs> was making sure I didn't say the hyphen. High Priestess here is about balance. It's about making sure you're balanced and you feel good within yourself. It's also about taking care of yourself, making sure that you are well looked after by yourself. The Moon card here is very much so resembling the Neptune retrograde. It's about making sure you take time and space for yourself and making sure that you are creating a balance. It, you know, the Moon card is about hot and cold, on and off, but it's also about light and dark. It's about an equal balance in terms of your career and your finances, making sure you're not overworking yourself because some of you will feel so good by the reward that comes to you that you will feel like you just have to do more and more and more and more to keep up. And the thing is, you don't have to do that. Make sure you're working smart, not too hard because you don't have to work too hard is what I'm seeing. Work smart. Yes, you will still have to work hard. That's, you know, I'm not saying that you can just do nothing and that will be fine. You still have to work hard, but do not overwork yourself. That's what I'm saying. And these two queens show that you'll feel good about yourself. You'll feel good about the work that you're doing. You'll feel very passionate about what it is that you're doing. You will feel a sense of nourishment. You'll feel growth. You know, the Queen of Wands is about passion. It's about attracting what it is that you really like doing. And so it's about sitting in that power and feeling good. And the Queen of Swords is about boundaries and structure. So this is very, very important. Make sure you don't feel like this. You want to feel like this. So it's about having those boundaries and, and making sure you have that balance as well. And that's about being also truthful and honest to yourself because those swords are about honesty and, and really learning that. So this is a very important message for you, Aries. Here it is. And this is really your energy. This Queen of Wands energy is coming through so, so strongly. There is some form of recognition that's going to come, but it can lead you to overworking yourself. And the most important message here is to make sure that you stay balanced and you, you know, you put in that structure. And uh, I think things will be fine. 
if you do that. So Aries, this is your reading. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, don't forget to, if you have already subscribed, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, let me know in the comment section below how this reading resonates with your situation. I would genuinely love to know. And also, what else can I mention? If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, there will be a link in the description box below if you'd like to. If you would like to check out my um, bracelets, the link will be down below. Private paid readings, free reading giveaway and how you can enter for that will also be down below. And I hope you all have a lovely day, night, wherever you are. Take care, everyone. Bye.